Hi! Happy December 1st. Happy Vlogmas to all who celebrate it. I haven't recorded like on this camera for a vlog in like a week and a half now. So I feel a little off, but I know that we're quickly gonna get back into the swing of things, all right? I miss y'all, y'all miss me. Let's skip the formalities, love you. I wanna go ahead and tell everybody what's going on with Vlogmas because as I stated like a month ago, I am going to do Vlogmas, but I'm gonna do it a little different this year. Last year was my first year like doing Vlogmas like the traditional way where like I started recording on December 1st, I uploaded December 2nd. I'm not doing that this year. <laughs> Even though I had a lot of fun and I think it really helps with my mental health because I was just going through a lot this time last year. I, I don't think I need that version of Vlogmas as like an emotional crutch the way that I did last year. I mean, cause now I'm on Prozac. I've dropped a lot of stressful things and people out of my life. And generally things are just, you know, on the up and up. Personally, the world is still on fire, but we can deal with that, okay? One day at a time. So I say all that to say, I'm still doing Vlogmas, but instead of it being like full feature length videos every single day, I am doing reels slash shorts here on YouTube. I haven't really delved into posting a lot of shorts, mainly because whenever I did, they seemed to get on the wrong side of the internet with people who were like, oh my God, you're a fat cow. And it was just like, damn, I know I'm fat and I love cows, but shit. Like, <laughs> Like they always just ended up on the wrong side of the internet and I didn't have the emotional bandwidth to be able to deal with it. <laughs> so I just didn't post shorts, but now I'm on Prozac, all right? This is a household sponsored by Prozac. So now I'm like, oh, I don't give a fuck what strangers about me say on the internet because I'm perfect the way I am. I just see nothing wrong with improving and getting better. Eh. So. I will be posting 25 days of self love. I'm really excited for this mainly because I wanted, I knew I wanted to do vlogmas, but I knew I wanted to do something different, something that would be more personal to me and more meaningful than just getting up every single day and trying to do something like fun and exciting and interesting. Like y'all not every day is like that. And y'all know I'm, I'm a real ass bitch. All right. <laughs> I'm a real ass relatable ass bitch. And I'm telling you, not every day is on and popping. Like I, I can't even front like that. That's just, <laughs> that's just not how life is. But every day I am trying to practice what I preach by, you know, taking care of myself and celebrating myself. And, you know, like earlier this week I went to the doctor and yesterday I talked to my nutritionist and like every day I'm doing something to show myself love, to show that I care about myself and, telling myself that I am worthy and deserving of all the love and blessings and good things in my life. And that's something that is always consistent. That's something that I do every single day. So I want to be able to share that part of like me and my lifestyle and spread it, you know, to other people. And to me, I feel like that's a lot more meaningful than just trying to shove like consumerism down my community's throat. Like that's just, that's not a vibe. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, right now I have the very first one. I need to do my voiceover for it, but I'm really excited and I hope that you guys like it. Like this is really coming from the heart. I'm really, really excited about this. So I hope that you guys like it, but I'm done talking about Vlogmas now. Um, I went to the office because I had some packages to pick up and ugh, I need to make sure that I got my stuff because unfortunately I had to order from the double site, but last week my package just went missing. It said that it was delivered and it wasn't. And then I checked the office twice and it wasn't, it wasn't there. So I got a new phone case. This is what she looks like. She's cute. I just wanted to make sure that whatever phone case I have now has a little something protective for the camera. Cause y'all, I can't afford to get this phone fixed again. So we, we gotta make sure she's good and protected. Ooh, mamas, do you like it? She's cute, okay. I like it. Okay, so got my new phone case. I ordered me and Scotty some filters. If you know, you know, but I'm not gonna explain it. <laughs> oh, all right, so got everything from this package and then I should be getting another package tomorrow and I will have to be up and on it because on Saturday, sometimes the office is open, sometimes it's not. Yeah. <laughs> apartment living is so fun 
But that's what I have today. I'm glad that I finally got the stuff that I ordered. <sighs> But now I'm about to hop in the shower because I went to the gym this morning. I didn't do like a full on workout. I didn't even like sleep great last night. I probably got like five hours of sleep, if that. So I, I still wanted to go to the gym. I still wanted to move my body, but I was just like tired. And I was sitting there on one of the machines and I was like, I don't feel like doing this. And I'm not gonna force myself, so I left. <laughs> And also my nutritionist gave me like a, a new workout plan. So I'm gonna be starting that next week. So honestly, I probably shouldn't have even gone to the gym today so my body can like rest and reset and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to hop in the shower and then I am going to make myself maybe some oatmeal or something. I had a double biscuit from Chick-fil-A um, because they were free up at the theater, but I feel like I'm probably gonna need more than that. And I'm trying to eat my small five meals a day. It's just, it's a lot. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hi, guess what day it is? If you said the next day, you're wrong. It's not, It's it's been many several days. <laughs> um, but it is Sunday, like night. <laughs> And Paola and Danny are on the way. They're like maybe 30 minutes away. I think they stopped at Bucky's. But I have this thing that I picked up from Target a while ago. And although I know I could just open it all and get everything that I want at once, but I'm trying to practice delayed gratification. So we're gonna open the first three together. And I'm excited because I haven't even read the I haven't even read the back to see what's in here. So let's see what's in number one. It's difficult. Ooh, this is 24 hour lip butter. It's pink lemonade. It's Eos. I remember back in high school, <laughs> I remember back in high school when everyone was obsessed with Eos and I like begged my mom for one. And then when I finally got one for Christmas, it dried my lips out so bad. <laughs> But I'm going to try this one and see if it does the same thing. It doesn't smell like pink lemonade, that's for sure. Well, it doesn't feel nearly as drying as the little balls used to. Huh. Okay. Now I have another little purse chapstick, so that's fun. All right. Now we have number two. This is something from a brand that I've never used before. It's the Unibrow Precision Pencil from Winky Lux. Oh, this is adorable. It's like a little mini. Wow. All right, last one, number three for today. Oh, oh, I got gummies. <laughs> My spouse is so encouraging. This is, I love you. <laughs> This is the Undeniable Beauty Healthy Hair, Skin, and Nails. It's It has biotin, keratin, and vitamin C and E. It's from the brand Ollie. Fun, I'll try those. All right, so that's our first three days of the 12 days of beauty. Hopefully I will remember to do these. And if not, well, we move. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna go see what Scotty's big bright idea was, and I'll see you guys again later when Pale and Danny get here. Bye. Danny. She's here. Oh, I brought a toy. Danny's here too. We missed you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is the next day here. You want to play with your crunchy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR. Oh. Really. Real crunchy, yeah. real crunchy. Um, we have a package, and I was like, Paola, do you wanna do a haul, even though she's not on camera? And she was like, yeah! So we're gonna do a haul. Spirit. <laughs> <gasps> you got a package from them? Yeah. Oh my God, I love their scents. Okay, open it, open it, open it. Yeah, they like DM me on Instagram. They were like, we wanna see you some stuff. And I was like, okay. I'm such a nepotism baby. I, oh, I you're in your you. nepple baby era. I'm in my nepple baby era. Oh. Uh, I, I cannot pronounce the name of this yeah. brand. I think it's it's La <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely French. It's yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lucky. Lucky. But it's an I. Where's an I? There's a Lucky. Right there. Hey. Lucky. Hey. Child. However you We're pronounce British, that. I'm not in, French. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. We're British. <laughs> not French. Oh my God. The, the British car. in the room. Please. <laughs> the the card. Oh my God. Oh, I see little hearts. Oh my God. It's a little yeah. car. This says Happy Holidays. Uh, Thank you. You should give that to someone for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I don't need all of this. Here you go. That's really I, nice paper. Oh my god. <laughs> I am gonna reuse this though. We believe in reusing I'm so in this excited. house. When I tell you that, I don't know if I can. I'm gonna say it. I didn't, before this brand reached out to me. I've never heard of this brand. So I was like, I was like, okay, sure. And then like when they sent me my first, yeah. like the first thing, I was like, oh, I was like, mm -hmm. this is fancy. It's fancy lotion and like some. <laughs> Scents and stuff. Okay, so we have a kit. Looks like it got thrown around in the mail, but that's okay. It has like a lotion. And let's see, what is that? Yeah, a lip balm. Ooh. I have the I have the big version of this. I have a small Okay, that's nice. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that's what is this? It's so Oh, this box. is so fun. Oh my god, look at the picture. I know. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Okay. <gasps> I really like the pictures. Whatever this is. The illustrations. <gasps> what is this? Oh! oh! Is that a lip balm? What? Oh, oh this is a nail cuticle oil. <gasps> oh. This is um, another hand cream. They knew that you're. And this is a one minute hand scrub. They knew that your bestie was ancient. <laughs> These cuticles have seen better days. Y'all, this is really just a gift for her. <laughs> Nepotism, baby. And then we have another, like, there's a box inside a box. Okay. Ow! Soften with almond. I love almond <gasps> scents. You do? It's really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love, I love these illustrations. This is so cute. Oh, that is definitely French. You know who took French in high school? Paola. You know who failed French in high school? Paola. No, I didn't. I passed. <laughs> you, she, yeah, I'm sorry. I she passed, passed, but she should have failed. <laughs> I passed French one and French two. <laughs> Um, uh, y'all, like I said, I don't speak French. Um, <laughs> this is this is hand and nail care. <laughs> you know what? I think people get confused when like. A little black girl named Dominique. By the way, Dominique is French. It is it French. It literally translates to of God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You were set up. Uh, you know, March Aries, your name means of God, but also it sounds like dominant. Like, <laughs> like you're telling me my parents didn't expect me to have a God complex? Okay. Really? Okay. <laughs> Y'all, and I have the same birthday as Mariah Carey. You can't tell me shit. You cannot. You're supposed to have a God complex. Oh, uh, y'all. <laughs> There's so much not English on here. <laughs> Whatever this is, maybe they were like, oh, her name's Dominique. Maybe she's no, no. French. Y'all, I'm not. I'm not. Let's see. Is it a cream? Oh, it does look like a cream. Oh, this is fancy, fancy. Oh, it's oh. a milk concentrate. Oh, my God. Beautiful. You know what? <gasps> Christmas might not be canceled after all. I'm just gonna re gift oh, all of it. Oh, ooh, bestie, where's his mole? I don't know. <laughs> I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna open it. I don't open it. I don't open it. I don't wanna open it. Y'all, I'm not playing. I I don't need any of this, so I really am gonna re gift this. But I, I'm, I'm very grateful, y'all, because <laughs> Christmas is looking a little rough this year. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little, a little so. Ooh. That's you. Oh, the, sh the shower oil. I, I literally just saw this on TikTok like yesterday. Oh, I bet that smells. But they, yeah, phenomenal. they sent me like a big one too. Oh my god, that smells oh, good. Oh wow, that smells like we have money. Mm. Like we're we're like the, the people that have money but are not like talking about. Yeah. It. But you just see, you're like we're old money. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Wow. All right, that's our haul. Um, and now we're gonna go get food. <laughs> Are you dead? No, hi. Hi. It's been many several days. But look who's back. I'll be back again <laughs> next week. We're having friends miss. I'm going to, can I give you guys your present? Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. I'm so excited. Well, I'll tell you after. I'm so excited. Faith is here too. Well, first, I'm going to show you guys their presents because um, I know that Faith doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah. So we're going <laughs> to. Okay, so they don't know this, but their Christmas presents are also going to be my bridesmaids proposals to them. Obviously Paola is going to be my maid of honor because she's my best friend. Love her. Um, and I'm asking Faith to be one of my bridesmaids as well. So I'm very excited to be doing this with them and that's why I'm obviously recording right now because <laughs> I want to document as much as I possibly can. So yeah, here are their presents. So this one is Faith's. I got us a cute little picture um, and and I got her like a mug and some stuff and yeah and then this one is Paola's she um, doesn't have a Squishmallow I was told that I could be the first one to buy her one so I got her a Squishmallow this is I got this before we found out that Squishmallows does not support Palestine but it's okay I just wanted to be the first one to get her a Squishmallow so this is her first and last Squishmallow and I think she's gonna love it and I got them some stuff from Bath and Body Works. Also, before we found out about, you know, the whole genocide thing and some other stuff in here. And I made these cute little, like, bridesmaid proposals on Canva that I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna give them their baskets and then I'm gonna send it to them. So, like, they don't even know that this is also for, like, the wedding. But, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I did that! Wait, do I, are mine so close? Open! Everyone open their ass! <laughs> no! Oh, wait, you're not on camera. You're not on camera. Stop because we're so cute. Not you looking at the picture, too. That is your colors. I haven't even read it and I'm parting it. The next day Paola and Faith are obviously gone I don't know if y'all can tell but your girl is a little sicky icky I think I got whatever Paola had last week <laughs> so it's fine that's honestly why I haven't been recording I've just been so out of it and I'm on my period so you know that's extra great extra fun but I went to work this afternoon after the girls left and I went to my locker and I saw that I had a secret Santa gift so I figured we could open it together. I think that my gift is obviously from a woman or a femme because they put thought into picking my favorite color. And like, look at the little thing. Like, the, it's so cute. And the bow, I can tell that this bow was attached with love. So it's a woman, for sure. Got cute little wrapping paper. They got me a Butterfinger because I've been back into those lately. Ooh, a share size of Skittles. I will not be sharing. Ooh, there's something, there's something in here. <gasps> they got me a little Squishmallow. <gasps> this is so cute. Its name is Zam, X-A-M. Oh, look. Ooh, I... I love Squishmallows. I was really sad when I found out that they are funding a genocide, so I can't buy them anymore, but people can still get me Squishmallows with their money. <laughs> this is so cute. All right, so anyway, like I said, I'm a little sicky icky, so even though I was supposed to work like two shifts back to back, David brought me home and Scotty's taking my shift, but on the way home, David stopped and let me get some Panera. So I got chicken and wild rice soup this is the same exact thing that I ate yesterday for lunch um but I'm gonna have it today for dinner so that's that's different you know and I got some bread I'm very excited I am gonna eat and then I'm gonna take a bubble bath and then I'm gonna pass out I'm gonna take some I'm gonna take some Theraflu and I'm gonna pass out it's it's gonna be a very chill night so if I don't see you again, I'll see you later. Bye. Hello. Um, 
Y'all, um, I just got home. Uh, I had to run to Target and grab a couple things. But the thought occurred to me that this video has been in the making for like three weeks now. I think I've been, I'm pretty sure I've been recording this f for like three weeks. Um, <laughs> and there comes a point where I should probably stop so I can edit it and upload it. But there's just been so much happening. I think the last time I saw you guys, I... I don't even remember. I don't remember the last thing I recorded. I should, I probably should have watched that back, but um, I know that a lot has gone on in this video. We have a little bit of sad news, uh, which I feel like it's probably expected because I haven't uploaded in a few days now, um, but I have decided that I'm just going to go ahead and discontinue my 25 days of self-love videos mainly because the irony is not lost upon me that I got sick while filming those videos so obviously I wasn't taking the best care of myself um I feel like I am just at a turning point as a creator um y'all know I don't really identify with being an, an influencer like that's just not my thing <laughs> but I really do feel like I'm at a turning point as a creator because like I'm tired of like just dishing out content because I'm trying to keep up with an algorithm or with my peers or you know just like with the industry standards like I want to make content that resonates with people and that I feel proud of and honestly like I was really having a lot of fun with the 25 days of self-love series but um <laughs> like I got so overwhelmed that I got like sick and I feel like one yes I was all up under payola when she came over a, a little while ago but also like I was just really stressed and there was just like a lot happening behind the scenes that had me like all frizzled and frazzled out and that's probably also why I got sick um and I was like you know what maybe this was just a sign that I need to sit my ass down so that's what I'm gonna do and that's what I want to encourage you all to do as well because I know that the holidays are busy it's a busy 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 time and I know that we all are aware that there are horrible awful things happening in the world around us right now and I just want to let you all know that this channel this platform that I have is always going to be a safe space it's always going to be a place where I encourage you to take care of yourself to stop to rest to pour into your own cup okay because that's what's important all right and although my general like mission when I created my channel was to like you know be a diverse face and have you know different kinds of content that people could relate to I feel like now it's more important for me to encourage people to just take care of themselves because we live in a crazy world right now and I don't feel like there's enough of that going around like of course I want to tell you all to like stay informed and keep up to date with like whatever trusted news sources and outlets you have because that's very very important okay we have to be uplifting each other and marginalized voices and you know all that is very very important okay like that will always be a pillar in this community taking care of others and ourselves okay so yeah like all that being said um the 25 days of self-love <coughs> Oh, excuse me. The 25 Days of Self Love series is being discontinued, but just know that. Uh. All right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> the 25 Days of Self Love series is officially being canceled, but just know that at the heart of my content, that is what everything is all about. It's all about self love and self care and pouring into yourself so that you can pour into others like that will always be something that I cherish so much and that I want to instill in others um so yeah like even though I won't be doing the series anymore mainly because I need to take care of myself that will always be here like that is the heart of this channel that is what's in my heart that's what I want to gift to others you know so yeah like we're gonna say goodbye to that maybe I'll revisit that idea that concept at another time maybe in the new year but right now it's just really important for me to take care of myself and I want to be an example because obviously I need to take care of myself if you're still with me 
<laughs> because I know this video has probably gotten really long at this point. Um, thank you so much for being here and know that I love you so, so, so much. Even if I'm just some happy face you see on the internet, just know that someone cares about you and someone is happy that you are here and that you exist. And I hope that you are taking care of yourself, okay? I hope that you get to spend time with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I feel really long-winded and I'm actually pretty hungry. So I'm gonna go warm up some pizza. But I love you all so much. I hope that you guys are happy, healthy, and thriving. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.